you are logged in into your gmail from that gmail you download a pdf right it's now available on local right but you delete the file which is in local but if you go to the computer's browser history and the download link irukuma if i go click on that what will happen it will download again now i log out of my gmail account now if i go click on that link what will happen it should not it will not be secondary it should not if it does it is called the idor attack insecure direct object reference i am able to directly access the object without any kind of a authentication in place right then talking about network related attack what are the other attacks that could be possible man in the middle exactly so there could be a possibility there that someone is snooping the traffic between you and the payment gateway to gain access to your credit card numbers you understand there is a very interesting attack that i get reminded of it is called the arp poisoning along with js injector there are two different attacks combined together to form a hybrid attack okay while i am doing a dns poisoning on the local network assume i do a dns poisoning on the local network now i can actually target this guy who is going to go to abc.com but i redirect him to go to another website from back end i am not putting a trojan back door or anything on his computer on the back end itself i am able to redirect him to a different website do you understand what i'm saying not even touching his computer but only touching the packets that are coming out of his computer i'm editing and manipulating it and sending a response packet to him yes or no this is called the mitm attack man the middle attack now i do a js injector this is a very popular technique using dns poisoning again so every time you are browsing the website suddenly you will get a advertisement which will have a qr code that qr code will say at the bottom scan this qr code and get one free pizza at pizza hut nearby but you are not aware that that qr is put by me i have injected that qr as a js injection through a dns poisoning see two or three different attacks combined together to form a hybrid attack okay any, any other types of attack ddos ddos correct say uh, kalki movie is released usually 20 30 people go to that theater suddenly what happens 1000 2000 people are booking tickets so the server should be able to manage that kind of a crowd load yes otherwise there are chances that it can crash the running service right so attackers what they do they on purpose try to crash the running service see what happens when your anonymity results are released to all go to the website put your registration number and say search not even one person gets a response back yes or no same thing it's called the dos dos attack as in denial of service ddos as in distributed denial of service thanks for watching don't forget to subscribe for more tech insights on cybersecurity